so good to see everyone. We've announced over a dozen models and research breakthroughs and released over 20 major AI products and features all since the last IO. You can see the step function change here. ELO scores, one measure of progress, are up more than 300 points since the first generation of Gemini Pro. All of this progress is enabled by our world-leading infrastructure, the foundation of our full-stack approach to AI. Our seventh-generation TPU, Ironwood, is the first design to power thinking and inference at scale. It delivers 10x the performance over the previous generations and packs an incredible 42.5 exaflops of compute per pod. Just amazing. And it's coming to Google Cloud customers later this year. Introducing Google Beam, a new AI-first video communications platform. Beam uses a new state-of-the-art video model to transform 2D video streams into a realistic 3D experience. Behind the scenes, an array of six cameras captures you from different angles. And with AI, we can merge these video streams together and render you on a 3D light field display. With near-perfect head tracking down to the millimeter and at 60 frames per second, all in real time. The result, a much more natural and deeply immersive conversational experience. We are so excited to bring this technology to others. In collaboration with HP, the first Google Beam devices will be available for early customers later this year. Here's an example of how this could be useful when booking a vacation rental in South America and you don't speak the language. Let's take a look. Hi, Camilla. Let me turn on speech translation. It's nice to finally talk to you. Es bueno hablarte finalmente. No puedo esperar alquilar tu casa. Te vas a divertir mucho y creo que te va a encantar. You're going to have a lot of fun and I think you're going to love visiting the city. The house is in a very nice neighborhood and overlooks the mountains. That sounds wonderful. Is the house Eso suena maravilloso. You can see how well it matches the speaker's tone, patterns, and even their expressions. We are even closer to having a natural and free-flowing conversation across languages. And today, we are introducing this real-time speech translation directly in Google Meet. English and Spanish translation is now available for subscribers with more languages rolling out in the next few weeks. Computer use is part of a broader set of tools we will need to build for an agent ecosystem to flourish, like our open agent-to-agent -agent protocol so that agents can talk to each other. We launched this at CloudNext with the support of over 60 technology partners and hope to see that number grow. Then there is the model context protocol introduced by Anthropic so agents can access other services. And today we are excited to announce that our Gemini SDK is now compatible with MCP tools. We are working to bring this to life with something we call personal context. With your permission, Gemini models can use relevant context across your Google Apps. Last year, I introduced him as Sir Demis. This year, we can add Nobel Laureate to his list of titles. Come on out, Demis. Hey, everyone. You've been really impressed by what you've created, from turning sketches into interactive apps to simulating entire 3D cities. We are also introducing new previews for text-to-speech. These now have a first-of-its-kind multi-speaker support for two voices, built on native audio output. This means the model can converse in more expressive ways. It can capture the really subtle nuances of how we speak. It can even seamlessly switch to a whisper like this. This works in over 24 languages, and it can easily, easily go between languages. Today, we're bringing the power of diffusion to text with our newest research model. This helps it excel at tasks like editing, including in the context of math and code. Because it doesn't just generate left to right, it can iterate on a solution very quickly and error correct during the generation process. Gemini Diffusion is a state-of-the-art experimental text diffusion model that leverages this parallel generation to achieve extremely low latency. For example, the version of Gemini Diffusion we're releasing today generates five times faster than even 2.0 Flash Lite, our fastest model so far, while matching its coding performance. So take this math example. Ready? Go. We've been busy exploring the frontiers of thinking capabilities in Gemini 2.5. As we know from our experience with AlphaGo, responses improve when we give these models more time to think. Today, we're making 2.5 Pro even better by introducing a new mode we're calling Deep Think. So far, we've seen incredible performance. It gets an impressive score on USAMO 2025, currently one of the hardest mass benchmarks. It leads on Live Code Bench, a difficult benchmark for co competition level coding. And since Gemini has been natively multimodal from the start, it's no surprise that it also excels on the main benchmark measuring this, MMMU. Over the past decade, we've laid a lot of the foundations for the modern AI era. From our pioneering work inventing the Transformers architecture, which today underpins all large language models, to agent systems like AlphaGo and AlphaZero. We continue to double down on the breadth and depth 
of our fundamental research to invent the next big breakthroughs that are needed for artificial general intelligence. Gemini is already the best multimodal foundation model, but we're working hard to extend it to become what we call a world model. That is a model that can make plans and imagine new experiences by simulating aspects of the world, just like the brain does. This is something I've always been passionate about, having thought about virtual worlds since my early days, developing AI for simulation games like Theme Park. We've been taking strides in this direction for a while through our pioneering work training agents to master complex games like Go and StarCraft. To most recently, our Genie 2 model, capable of generating 3D simulated environments that you can interact with just from a single image prompt. You can already see these capabilities emerging in the way Gemini can use its world knowledge and reasoning to represent things in nature. And in VO, our state-of-the-art video model, which has a deep understanding of intuitive physics, like how gravity, light, and materials behave. It's really incredible how well VO maintains accuracy and consistency across frames. It knows what to do, even when the prompts get a little creative, like this person made out of life rafts. Understanding the physical environment will also be critical for robotics. AI systems will need, to, need world models to operate effectively in the real world. We fine-tuned a specialized model, Gemini Robotics, that teaches robots to do useful things like grasp, follow instructions, and adjust to novel tasks on the fly. For those of you here today, you can play around with the robots in the AI sandbox. Making Gemini a full world model is a critical step in unlocking a new kind of AI, one that's helpful in your everyday life, that's intelligent and understands the context you're in, and that can plan and take action on your behalf across any device. This is our ultimate vision for the Gemini app, to transform it into a universal AI assistant, an AI that's personal, proactive, and powerful, and one of our key milestones on the road to AGI. This starts with the capabilities we first explored last year in Project Astra, such as video understanding, screen sharing, and memory. Over the past year, we've been integrating capabilities like these into Gemini Live for more people to experience today. Of course, we continue to relentlessly improve and explore new innovations at the frontier. For example, we've upgraded voice output to be more natural with native audio. We've improved memory and added computer control. Let's take a look. I'm here with the latest research prototype of Project Astra, and we're going to see how it can help me fix my bike. Hey, go online and look for a user's manual for a Huffy mountain bike. I have found a user manual for you. What would you like to know about it? OK, cool. Now scroll until you find the section about the brakes. Sure thing. Looking for that page now. I think I stripped this screw. Can you go on YouTube and find a video for how to fix that? Of course. I'm opening YouTube now. This looks like a good video. Place a rubber band over the head of the screw. Oh, nice. And press hey, down firmly. Can you go through my emails with the bike shop and find which size hex nut I need? Sure. According to the email from Bicycle Habitat, you need a 3 8 inch hex nut for your sprocket. I've highlighted the correct bin for you. It seems like I need a spare tension screw. Can you call the nearest bike shop and see what they have in stock? Yep. Calling them now. I'll get back to you with what they have in stock. I think my brake pads are wearing down. Can you check the manual again and see if it talks about them anywhere? According to the manual, if you look on page hey. 24... Do you want to get lunch? Yeah, give me five minutes. Can you finish what you were saying? As I was saying, if you look on page 24, section 2, you'll see how to replace the brake pads. Hey, uh, any updates on that call? Yep, I just got off of the bike shop. They confirmed they have your tension screw in stock. Would you like me to place a pickup order? Could you show me some examples of dog baskets I can put on my bike? Sure, I can help you with that. Just give me a moment. Here are some options. I think Zuka would look really great in these. A universal AI assistant will perform everyday tasks for us. It will take care of mundane admin and surface delightful new recommendations, making us more productive and enriching our lives. We're gathering feedback about these new capabilities now from trusted testers and working to bring them to Gemini Live, new experiences in search, and the Live API for developers, as well as new form factors like Android XR glasses. You'll hear more on this later today. My entire career at its core has been about using AI to advance knowledge and accelerate scientific discovery. At Google DeepMind, we've been applying AI across almost every branch of science for a long time. In just the past year, we've made some huge breakthroughs in a wide range of areas, from mathematics to life sciences. We've built AlphaProof that can solve mass Olympiad problems at the silver medal level, co-scientists that can collaborate with researchers helping them develop and test novel hypotheses, and we've just released AlphaEvolve, which can discover new scientific knowledge and speed up AI training itself. In the life sciences, we've built Amy, a research system that could help clinicians with medical diagnoses, AlphaFold 3, which can predict the structure and interactions of all of life's molecules, and isomorphic labs, 
which builds on our AlphaFold work to revolutionize the drug, the drug discovery process with AI and will one day help to solve many global diseases. In just a few short years, AlphaFold has already had a massive impact in the scientific community. It's become a standard tool for biology and medical research, with over 2.5 million researchers worldwide using it in their critical work. As we continue to make progress towards AGI, I've always believed, if done safely and responsibly, it has the potential to accelerate scientific discovery and be the most beneficial technology ever invented. With this and all our groundbreaking work, we're building AI that's more personal, proactive, and powerful, enriching our lives, advancing the pace of scientific progress, and ushering in a new golden age of discovery and wonder. With AI mode, you can ask whatever's on your mind. And as you can see here, search gets to work. It generates your response, putting everything together for you, including links to content and creators you might not have otherwise discovered, and merchants and businesses with useful information like ratings. Search uses AI to dynamically adapt the entire UI, the combination of text, images, links, even this map, just for your questions. And you can follow up conversationally. Now, AI mode isn't just giving you information. It's bringing a whole new level of intelligence to search. What makes this possible is something we call our query fanout technique. Now, under the hood, search recognizes when a question needs advanced reasoning. It calls on our custom version of Gemini to break the question into different subtopics, and it issues a multitude of queries simultaneously on your behalf. It searches across the entire web, going way deeper than a traditional search. And it taps into all of our data sets of real-time information, like the knowledge graph, the shopping graph, and in this case, local data, including insights from our Maps community of over 500 million contributors. There's another new way you can use Gemini today, too. We're introducing Gemini in Chrome. This will be your AI assistant that's there for you as you browse the web on your desktop. The amazing part is that you can use this, and it understands the context of the page that you're on automatically. So if you have a question, it can be answered. It's called Imagine 4. The images are richer, with more nuanced colors and fine-grained details. The shadows in the different shots, the water droplets that come through in the photos. I've spent a lot of time around these models, and I can say this model and the progression has gone from good to great to stunning. It's 10 times faster than our previous model, so you can iterate through many ideas quickly. I'm excited to announce our new state-of-the-art model, VO3. And like a lot of other things you've heard about from stage today, it's available today. The visual quality is even better. Its understanding of physics is stronger. But here's the leap forward. VO3 comes with native audio generation. That means, that means that VO3 can generate sound effects, background sounds, and dialogue. Now you prompt it, and your characters can speak. Here's a wise old owl and a nervous young badger in the forest. Take a listen. They left behind a, a ball today. It bounced higher than I can jump. What manner of magic is that? This ocean, it's a force, a wild, untamed might. And she commands your awe with every breaking light. There's a new agent mode coming for multi-step actions that you heard about earlier. We recently launched Lyria 2, which can generate high-fidelity music and professional-grade audio. The music is melodious, with vocals in solos and choirs. As you hear, it makes expressive and rich music. We've been building a new AI filmmaking tool for creatives. We're calling it Flow, and it's launching today. Let's drop into a project I'm working on. Our hero, the grandpa, is building a flying car with help from a feathered friend. These are my ingredients the old man, and his car. We make it easy to upload your own images into the tool, or you can generate them on the fly using Imagine, which is built right in. We can create a custom gold gear shift just by describing it. There it is, pretty cool. Next, you can start to assemble all of those clips together. With a single prompt, you can describe what you want, including very precise camera controls. Flow puts everything in place, and I can keep iterating in the scene builder. Now, here's where it gets really exciting. If I want to capture the next shot of the scene, I can just hit the plus icon to create the next shot. I can describe what I want to happen next, like adding a 10-foot-tall chicken in the back seat, and Flo will do the rest. The character consistency, the scene consistency, it just works. We will have Google AI Pro and the all-new Google AI Ultra. With the Pro plan, 
which is going to be available globally, you'll get a full suite of AI products with higher rate limits and special features compared to the free version. This includes the pro version of the Gemini app that was formerly known as Gemini Advanced. Then there's the Ultra plan. It's for the trailblazers, the pioneers, those of you who want cutting edge AI from Google. The plan comes with the highest rate limits, the earliest access to new features and products from across Google. It's available in the US today and we'll be rolling it out globally soon. You can think of this Ultra plan as your VIP pass for Google AI. So if you're an Ultra subscriber, you'll get huge rate limits and access to that 2.5 Pro deep think mode in the Gemini app when it's ready. You'll get access to Flow with VO3 available today. And it also comes with YouTube Premium and a massive amount of storage. Let's start with Gemini on headsets. This is Samsung's Project Muhan, the first Android XR device. With Google Maps in XR, you can teleport anywhere in the world simply by asking Gemini to take you there. You can talk with your AI assistant about anything you see and have it pull up videos and websites about what you're exploring. Let's see how they work in the most hectic environment possible right now. Hey everyone, right now you should be seeing exactly what I'm seeing through the lens of my Android XR glasses. Like my delicious coffee over here and that text from Sharon that just came in. Let's see what he said. All right, it's definitely showtime. So I'm gonna launch Gemini and get us going. Send Sharon a text that I'm getting started and silence my notifications, please. Okay, I've sent that message to him and muted all your notifications. Perfect. Oh, hey, Mishnah. Hey, Dieter. Uh, I see the lights on on your glasses, so I think it's safe to say that we're live right now? Yes, we're officially on with the I.O. crew. Hey, everybody. It is pretty great to see I.O. from this angle. Mishnah, you promised me I could get my own pair of Android XR glasses if I helped out back here. So uh, what do you say? Of course. Let's get coffee after this, and I'll bring you those glasses. Awesome. We'll see you then. Good luck. Thank you. I'm excited to announce today that Gentle Monster and Warby Parker will be the first eyewear partners to build glasses with Android XR. Today, you've heard a lot about ELO scores, benchmarks, and state-of-the-art performance. But I know there's one metric you've all been waiting for, our AI counter. So let's take a look at one last leaderboard. Looks like, uh, I guess, we have a new entrant. Gemini takes the lead. Here's everything we've announced today, from new launches and product expansions to glimmers of what's to come. The opportunity with AI is truly as big as it gets. And it'll be up to this wave of developers, technology builders, to make sure its benefits reach as many people as possible. I want to leave you with a few examples that inspire me. The first is top of mind for those who live here in California and so many places around the world. So many of us know someone who has been affected by wildfires. They can start suddenly and grow out of control in a matter of minutes. Speed and precision can make all the difference. Together with an amazing group of partners, we're building something called FireSat. It's a constellation of satellites that use multispectral satellite imagery and AI aiming to provide near real-time insights. Just look at the resolution. It can detect fires as small as 270 square feet, about the size of a one-car garage. Our first satellite is in orbit now. When fully operational, imagery will be updated with a much greater frequency, down from every 12 hours today to every 20 minutes. <laughs> Speed is also of the essence in other kinds of emergencies. During Hurricane Helene, Wing, in partnership with Walmart and the Red Cross, provided relief efforts with drone deliveries. Supported by AI, we were able to deliver critical items like food and medicine to a YMCA shelter in North Carolina based on real-time needs. We can imagine how this could be helpful in disaster relief in other communities, and we are actively working to scale up. These are examples of ways AI is helping society right now. It's especially inspiring to think about the research of today that will become reality in a few short years whether it's building the next generation of helpful robots, finding treatments for the world's deadliest diseases, advancing error-corrected quantum computers, or delivering fully autonomous vehicles that can safely bring you anywhere you want to go. All of this is very much possible within not decades, but years. It's amazing. This opportunity to improve lives is not something I take for granted. And a recent experience brought that home for me. I was in San Francisco with my parents. The first thing they wanted to do was a ride in a Waymo, like a lot of other tourists. I had taken Waymos before, but watching my father, who's in his 80s, in the front seat, be totally amazed, I saw the progress in a whole new light. It was a reminder of how incredible the power of technology is to inspire, to awe, and to move us forward. And I can't wait to see what amazing things we'll build together next. Thank you.